This is a very important motive that actually every player should know. Black has only one pawn against our rook. Rook is of course better, we never risk losing the game, we can always give the rook for the pawn, but sometimes and actually quite often one pawn can be good enough to make a draw against the rook. If we try, for example, we can get scared from black, black's pawn and maybe try to stop it like this. What's black going to do? He might come here or maybe he might use this way. It doesn't matter. This, this is sometimes good against uh, white's king. Even if white king would be a bit closer, it would still be a draw. There's nothing white can do here. Black will come here, push, push one more time. We have to guard this square. Black comes with his king and next move, he queens. We have to give the rook and the game is drawn. Initial position, we need to do something extra. We need to do something really great. We have to disconnect black's king and pawn. And there's only one way to do this. Can you find it? Yes, you're right. It's this move. We cut off, like rook, rook is great for cutting off enemy pieces, especially enemy king. We cut off enemy king and it cannot come close to the pawn and black simply loses. Why doesn't have, even have to rush? I mean, white can go here and still win. But of, of course, we will come with our king to b6 and maybe try to go this way or, or uh, move the rook and then try to go this way. I don't know. I mean, it's th there are many options how we can slowly approach and there's nothing black can do. He can simply wait with the king here, but that's not going to help. The moment black pushes the pawn now, uh, these two pieces are disconnected very far from each other. Black king needs three, three moves to protect the pawn, but this is not enough. White will just go here, here and capture the pawn. White also has, a, uh, has an alternative way to win this game after uh, black pushes his pawn once. And this is to immediately attack it. And then once black pushes it, go behind the pawn and just simply capture it. So this is an amazing way to win the game. If you try to play something like this, this or this, you made a big mistake. Same is valid for king b6. After king b6, black is probably going to push his pawn. Although I assume that all these moves are going to lead to a draw. But let's say we push the pawn, king comes closer. Black can even push one more time. No, black cannot push one more time. We are in time to capture the pawn. Black is going to come closer with his king to the pawn. Now, uh, there are three options and uh, maybe uh, king g5 might even look interesting, but uh, we always want to stop white's king from approaching at the same time, or almost always. So probably this is uh, the easiest way. Let me see if this move is uh, good enough. White comes with the king and suddenly we have some problems and we, we, uh, we actually cannot make a draw anymore. No white wins. We are not uh, fast enough to make a draw. So black should definitely go this way. Now white cannot make some particularly useful moves with, with his king. Maybe something like this. Then what? Some check. We come closer. We push. We want to queen our pawn. Check this. Black still wants to queen. So white doesn't have time to come closer. Check this. And it's, it's a simple draw actually. So that's the reason why in this initial position we need to play rook b3. Some king move, any king move is wrong. Most like rook b3, rook b2, rook b1 are wrong, but this typical great idea wins the game.